Hello and welcome to Working with Miniatures. I'm Jim and today we're going to be painting the Evil Trees by Maker's Anvil. We'll be using AK Interactive's Muddy Ground and Army Painter's Speed Paints and Washes. Let's get started. This model was purchased from Amazon. A link for it is in the description below. Two things to note are the fine slivers of resin that had to be sanded off. The other is that you can see multiple layers that were built up from the printing process. After cleaning the trees and base, I apply matte black primer to everything before spraying a mostly zenithal application of white primer. Once the primer has dried to the touch, I spray a very light application of golden high flows acrylics, burnt sienna, just enough to tint the trees away from grayscale. With the airbrushing complete, I head to my desk and add speed paints to the areas of the base that I will not be covering with texture paste or flocking. The skulls are covered with sand golem and the rocks are covered with gravelord gray. I also paint the trees with the sand golem speed paint. I use super glue to adhere the trees to the base before applying texture paste to everything, save for the trees, rims, skulls, rocks, and exposed roots. There were gaps around the trees where they fit on the base, but this was easy enough to fill with texture paste, creating a smooth transition between the two. After the texture paste has dried, I apply random speed paints all over it using two greens, two browns, gray, and a black. While the speed paint was drying, I went ahead and applied matte black around the rim. I then dry brushed skeleton bone over the skulls and dungeon gray over the rocks. I mixed dark green and brown flocking together before applying PVA glue on the texture paste. I then slowly sprinkle the flocking on. When sprinkling by hand, if you want to keep the flocking fine, be sure not to grind your fingers together. Doing so will result in small clumps. I then tear some small bits of Army Painter Summer Undergrowth and super glue them around randomly. I then glue various colors and size tufts around the piece. Nearing the end, I randomly apply mid-brown and dark tone wash to the tufts and undergrowth. The wash has been thinned with water and is applied very lightly to the base and across the tips of the tufts. Be mindful not to add a lot to the tufts at once. This is the finished result. The layered process that was used to print these can clearly still be seen in the trees, but it does not look bad for them. The rock, however, stands out starkly, but can be passed off as flaked shale. Ultimately, I'm happy with how this turned out, and I'm particularly happy with the Tim Burton-esque trees. It's gonna wrap it up for today. I hope this influenced you on to purchase or not purchase the Evil Trees by Maker's Anvil. I found mine on Amazon. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and if you like the content of this video and would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Jim with Working With Miniatures. I'm truly grateful for your time, and I bid you a fond farewell. Till the next video.